Hey, what is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the New York Rangers franchise mode. And I did simulate a lot, and we are having an absolutely horrible year. Highest score, 37 points to Nato, and we have currently 55 points. Last on division, and we don't possess our first overall pick. First round pick, because we got Nylander, so that's going to suck. But, I mean... I'm thinking I'm at the trade deadline. There's really nothing I can do because I just don't have any cap. You know, you can see here, we're just no one's putting up points. I don't know what's going on. I thought we were a contending team. I did send down a Cousins to play the rest in the, what's it called? I don't know where he's playing, but in his juniors. And you get to see the team. True is not really putting up any numbers. Of course, Stahl, Beegers doesn't play anything. Latieri played three games because we had an injury. But I think I might just simulate to the offseason. You know, whole, I don't think we're even going to have enough cap to sign someone big because there are going to be a lot of uh, free agents. So we're just going to sim right to the offseason. And I'll see you guys when the offseason hits. So we're back. We have one more game left in the season. We stand the worst team in our division with 82 points. One of the worst in the league. Nylander finished with 61 points. And I just don't know. I don't know what our approach is going to be. I think we'll be better next year because I think Kraft's off. And all of them will be, you know, even Miller. We'll get rid of, I mean, we're going to have to sign some, like sign Kreider and Domestikov. Hopefully we have money to do that. Because I don't know what they're going to be asking for. You know, the draft, we don't have any picks. I mean, no, we have like maybe we don't have a top we don't have a top three picks in the in the rounds. Since Toronto Maple Leafs, they did give it. We did get Nylander, which is fine. But Maple Leafs are gonna have a high pick probably, mostly top five, which is you know I didn't really look at any of the draft. We'll just see if we can get some could be a elite in the later rounds, which would be awesome. But yeah, I don't really know what was going on. Maybe it's just because, you know, we just didn't have a... I don't know if it was... I mean, I thought we were pretty well, well balanced. You know, our fourth line was VZ, Nieves, and Faust. I don't know if it was maybe Kraftsoff and Anderson. Didn't really put up a lot of points. I thought our defense was awesome. I mean... And the Minnesota Wild win the Stanley Cup. What the fuck? Of course, the salary cap went up. So maybe that'll give us a few more million... Cause there were a lot of notable free agents, you know. Of course, there's Alex Petrangelo. Damn, Toronto only has the eighth pick. That's crazy. That's fine. Let's look at the retire. Oh, don't tell me Long was retired. Oh, this is gonna be. Oh no, I don't. Henrik Lunk was sticking with us. Whew. This might be the last year. So if we could bring in another big name player. Lee Tembiak, former Ranger, former everything, literally. Guy's been playing all over the place. So going to 2020 NHL draft. Of course we don't possess. We're just gonna sim to the round. So next round. I just want to see what kind of player. Because I did put that you could see the their potential, so let's see what kind of player. Maple Leafs got L. Marlowe, who's a medium top six, so they didn't even get an elite. It seems like, oh, there's not really that much, at least, I don't know if those are their final. I don't know if those are your, their final uh, potentials, but doesn't really seem like a lot. So now, our first pick in this draft is in the fourth round. I really don't know what to go with. I'm going to see... Look at all these medium elites, don't even know what the hell is what. There's a lot of medium elites. It's not accurate though. Here's a low elite, we scouted low elite, low elite, low, low. There's a high medium, but I don't even know who's supposed to be going. You know, at this point in the draft, but we might as well, you know, get some prospects. We have a three, a low starter. We do have a lot of good goalies. 
is a low elite, of course. Joe Ekblad is a left wing. Here's a three, a four-star low elite center. Rohan Mar, I might go with him just because you know, low elite is pretty decent. And if that's the case, that would be good. And he's a sniper, and we could probably use another center just in case we lose out on Donato, maybe. So that's our first pick. Because I mean, we could probably re-sign Donato, but I'm just not so sure yet because we have to. Sign, we only signed him a one-year deal. Here we are again. Uh, let's look at, let's actually look at top ranking. So we got a low elite Ekblad, of course, the left wing, and then another center. Power forward, 6'2", he's rising up. I'm just hoping that, because I'm really not so sure about, you know, drafting them are the best, but I'm actually going to go with this guy. Of course, another low elite, and he, oh, now he's low top. Nine. That's actually not bad, especially because we're in the fifth round. Like, see, there's an AHL, another top nine, top nine, backup goalie. So, are we in the fourth round again? I don't even know where we are. A lot of oh, good. There's Russian defenseman. That's not Russian. Check with Slovakian defenseman. Offensive defenseman. High top two AHL no high medium top six grinder six five might as well take a chance I guess grinder is not really ah oh, he's AHL top six damn it that's gonna be a useless pick grinder is really not the best how many fourth round picks do we have holy shit grinder is not the best um here's a playmaker who's very inaccurate medium elite. Step on. I think we just gotta go with him. Put get another step on team. Oh, okay, imagine he turns out to be elite. Ah, oh, he's bottom six. Oh, that's rough. Now we're in the fifth round after a bunch of fourth round picks. Here's another medium elite. Here's a low elite. And it's pretty semi accurate. So I think I'll go with this over this one. Right wing, you can never go wrong. And he's a low elite, so that's not bad. Especially for fifth fifth round pick. Sim to our next user pick should be just a sixth and maybe a seventh round, and that will be the draft. Of course, not really much here. I might just go with the best available at defense and just because I don't think we draft in one. Here's a tied Brody. Ball offensive defenseman. You know what? Maybe he could be elite. I don't know, but let's just go with it just because it says it. And he's a 70, so that's not, I mean, that's pretty bit. I mean, it's not horrible for a sixth round. So maybe he can, it depends what overall he's. Maybe he can make the team in the long run. And our last pick here. Might as well go with. I'm going Noah. Boyko. It says top nine, but yeah, it's AHL top six, so. Not so, I mean, we got a couple low elites, I guess. So the draft went well. Not awesome, but it went okay, I guess. So now the resign phase, and there's gonna be a lot of. What was this? Oh yes, sign scouts. So let's just look at the team real quick. A lot of domestic off. So I'm just, I'm just gonna sort by free. Actually, you know what? We're going to go on unrestricted free agents. We have Matt Bolesky, who Let's just see what he wants. See, that's the contract I would give Matt Bolesky. But I'm going to release him. We could probably bring him back. I don't think anyone's really going to pick him up. Jesper Foss went down two overalls. I just want to see what everyone's really asking for. If he's asking for $2 million, that's not bad. This is the main ones right here. Kreider and Z Nemestikov asking for a little bit more than he originally asked for, so that's not bad that he had. That's not bad. And Crowder wants five million on the dot. How much cap space do we have? We have seventeen million in cap space. Uh, and we signed both of them, and that's ten million right out the door. And of course we have Donato who I really want to keep. 
And for that price, for two, what about three years? Three years, three million? I'm going to offer him that. It seems like he's happy here, so I think he'll take that. But with Kreider and the Mestikov, I might not re-sign them. And then maybe come back to them during free agency. What did Foss want? He want 1.45? And the more it goes up. We'll give him a four year deal just because I think he'll be, you know, good enough through four years. To be thirty two, why not? Play that fourth line. Only gonna pay a million. Um let me just check goalies. Do we have any goalies that are Gorgia, we have to resign and Brent Hoverson we don't fucking need anymore. Get out of here. Alexander Gorgia will give him a three year deal. Damn, only get He's only he only wants that. Do we not have enough money? What the fuck? Oh no, maybe this. We give him two years. That amount he's asking for. So that's good on goalies. Defenseman Crawley's a restricted free agent. I'll bring him back. It's because he could play in the AHL and maybe crack the NHL lineup. No defenseman, all expiring. Who are these two guys? Medium 7D. I think we draft these guys in 2019. We could leave them B. So let's look at. So Foss, we offered him a contract. And then, of course, Cry and Mesco, and also BZ. Is VZ worth two million? What if we give him one year? He's just, I mean, you know, VZ I'm sure is okay in this game. In real life, he's just not that good. We'll just give him a one-year deal. We'll see how everyone accepts those. I want, I don't know, Foss, Foss might not accept it just because he wasn't so happy. So let's see what they say about it. Donato, to come back. That's good. He's the one I wanted. Yep. Yeah, Foss. I guess he's just not. Damn it, he's my favorite player, but eh, I don't really want to pay him that much. We'll leave him be, maybe we'll come back to get him. VZ rejected it. Crawley accepts, okay. Well, them two, I'm not really trying to pay them that. I mean, I could probably pay them like one point. I mean, VZ's gonna pay, no, I'm not paying VZ any more than that. And the Mestikov, I think I might bring back. How, how much cash space do we have? We have 15 million. I kinda wanna go in free agency with 10 million because maybe we could just knock it Kreider and get a fucking stud. So in the Mestikov being, is he younger than Kreider? Kreider's our captain too. <laughs> Kreider's what? Yeah, he's two years old in the Mestikov, so I think bringing back to Mestikov for the cheaper price would be good. We gave him three years and the amount he wants. Hopefully he accepts it. I'm going to advance the day real quick. And he does. Okay, so we bring back to Mestikov. I think we're going to just sim into free agency. We're not going to sign Kreider. And we'll see who we can maybe bring in instead of Kreider. So now we're in the free agency part of the off season. We did re-sign Ryan Grout too. And you can see there's a lot of big names. <laughs> Excuse me. Blake Wheeler. And we can afford them. But, I mean, at least three, I don't even know who we want. Plus, they're like 30 and plus. 30 old. 30 old. I don't know if that's really what we want. Of course, Kreider's still here. But there's really not that much. I don't know if it's smart to go after one of them. That's for Foss. That's for 2.65. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, just look at goalies. Is there any young goalies maybe we could bring? Braden Holt, he's fucking crazy, bro. I think we should. We could ride out with Lundqvist still. You know, I'm actually going to see Lundqvist's stats. But you know what? I haven't played with him before, and I think he could really help us out. And that is Backstrom. I think I might pursue Backstrom. So let's look at the team real quick. Kratzoff runs up 77. Kjell Mills is 76. Shankirk still 86. Truba 84. Heagle still. Fuko Shevich 75. He could probably play in the AHL. Cousins 75. Both of them will play in the AHL. Let's see Lundquist. Is he like 85 still? He's still an 87. Okay. We could do we can roll with Lundquist for the playoffs. But I think we're trying to contend this here, so you know what? 
Why not? But then, because then we could have an insane center core. Back show me he's oh he's 32 though. Fuck. Yeah, but seven years this is like the last contract he'll sign. I'm pretty sure he's like 90 overall. Let me look at his stats. Yeah, he's just an all-around beast. His shootings, I mean. But if we get Wheeler, he's yeah, Petrangelo. If we get him, our defense would be insane. I think we need to go the offense. So I think I'm gonna get Backstrom. I might give him I wanna give him like a four year deal. Because you think when he'll be still good at thirty six. I'll give him a four year. 7.5 million dollar deal. It's 88 overall. Hmm. Or should we go Petrangelo? Because you know we don't really need a center. And Petrangelo would just totally revamp our. I mean, not revamp. We would have Shankirk Shea. I'm just gonna say D'Angelo Truba. Yeah. But then if I get rid of Stall, the Islanders are involved. I think a four year deal is good. I'll give him like 7.3. All for them. He'll be our one big guy I try to get. Because we do have the cap, I'm not resigning Kreider. And Faust and VZ. So those might be some spots we might have to fill. We might have to sign some other guys just to bring in depth. Hopefully he comes and simulate all these days and oh! Boom, just like that, we land Alex Petrangelo in free agency. That's big. Our defense is awesome. Still, we could trade away Shankirk, but we'll just keep him for this year. Just because he's still hot. And we could probably even get Wheeler or Baxham, but we would have to clear up cap. You know what? I might even... Let me see. Because <laughs> I'm trying to contend. I'm trying to get Lundqvist a ring here. So let's see, because we're not far off. We might have to clear up like three million cap. Let me just look at all of our big contracts. Oh, stall, man. No one is gonna take on stall. Buchnevich, keep. Mestikov, we need. Someone, Brent Smith, Donato. Yeah, it's like fucking stall and goddamn fucking. Let's see if we can find a place for stall. Uh, the Calgary Flames are interested in and they'll take on the contract. Surprised they still have what's his face, Johnny Gaudreau, after looking to trade him away. Damn, look at. And they have the. F oh, they have the number one pick too. Is Monahan really 94? He is, that's crazy. Like, all I want is a seventh round pick. Like, just take on the contract for me. Oh my god! They actually took on. They actually took Mark Stahl's contract. Wow. I'm shocked. Will they, do they want Brandon Smith too? <laughs> like, I'll give them Brandon Smith too. Do they want Brandon? Oh, they also have Jack. Look at their team. They have Jack Hughes. They got, I think this is the number one pick from this year. Hold on. What the fuck? The number two pick and the number one pick, and they have no. Oh my god, they're gonna be insane. They're fucking. Yeah, oh shit, they're a fucking contender. Oh my god. Do they want fucking? If they want, do they want Brent Smith too? <laughs> you know, they take on both of our shitty contracts. They don't want. They want Brent Smith, but maybe if they give us like another seventh round pick, take on a seventh round pick, twenty twenty two. Okay, that. Oh wait, what they say? Oh, I can't. Uh, they said something about Brent Smith. I don't even think anyone was Brent Smith. Okay, no. Alright, now we just... Now we can get one of these guys. But who do we get? Do we get the wing? Or do we get the center? Because what is our center core right now? I kind of have Anderson. But I don't want to give him like $7 million deals because I want to try to maybe flip them. Say after we win the cup or something like that. So let me look at our center core. Zvenejad, Donato, Heedle... 
Mark McCown also will be. But then we also have Howden is a 75. I might. Can Howden play? If he could play in the AHL, I'm gonna keep him in the AHL. Okay, you could probably you could play in the AHL one more year. We also have Mar. We just drafted. Definitely want to try to re-sign him. So we do have a lot of centers. But if we get Backstrom, can we? We could even play him at the wing. But I need a goal scorer. But if we get Backstrom, it would be Backstrom, Zabinijed, Heedle, or Donata. Yeah. So I kind of want to... Blake Wheeler's a 91, it says. Maybe. And he's also a little bit cheaper. He is one year older. But that's fine. I'm going to give him... If, um, should we give him a three-year? We'll give him a three-year... 7.2 million dollar deal. Just because I, I want to try to flip these guys. You know, I don't want to keep, you know. I mean, obviously we could just lock them up for that term and then, you know, we could just trade them whenever we want. But give them, like, not, you know, we don't really want them, like, that long. Like, Petrangelo, we gave him, like, a five-year deal just because he's a little bit younger than both of them. I'm sure Blake Wheeler should come just because we offered him a little bit more money than he was asking for and I think we were the... Wow! So he is, he thinks that we're not going to be a winning team, which I think we are if he comes. And Backstrom's still there too. Should we just get Backstrom? Or should we look to get someone else? Could probably get Hoffman. Who would be pretty decent. Okay, let's try to give him six years. 7.4. That's probably the most I'm going to go. So we'll just give him the long year contract so we could flip him whenever we want in those six years. Hopefully he doesn't, like, you know, that's what I'm saying. If he just, like, goes from a 91 to, like, an 80, he's still ejected. Okay. I'm not giving him five fucking eight million. You know, Backstrom's still here. I guess we could try to get him. He's asking for a little bit more. I might give him a five-year deal. 7.3. Basically the same contract as a Petrangelo. Now I really got to thank Calgary Flames for taking on Stahl's contract. And Backstrom comes. I don't think we really have any more cap. We could actually probably play Hol How Holden Howden. We have $3 million. That's not bad. We could bring in someone else. We could probably bring back Foss. But we're just going to hold on to the $3 million. Maybe bring back VZ. He's only asking for that much. Sure, we'll see if VZ wants to come back. Let's see if there's any other teams. We don't really need any defense. Our defense is insane. But this is good. You know, we... Thank you for the... We had the cap without signing. We gave up Kreider and, of course, gave up Stahl. But we bring in Backstrom, I think a year older than Kreider. And then we bring in Petrangelo just to... Okay, so VZ comes back. All right, so we're going to send him next season. And I'm hoping we're a contender. That's really what I'm looking for. And if we just win one cup out of both these guys, it'll be awesome. But our defense is going to be insane. And then we have, but I mean, we we have, we can't think of anything, Backstrom as our, but then we have Zabinijan as a second line center, but I wonder if Zabinijan will grow to a 90. Damn, this is going to be crazy, man. Two big moves. Thank you, fucking, if it wasn't for the fucking Calgary Flames for taking Stahl's contract, man. Thank you. Alright, let's edit the lines and uh, we gotta name new captain. So we have Nemestikov, Backstrom, and William Nylander. And then Kraftsoff. They have Donato playing a wing. And they also we have Howden and Anderson, two, three centers. So I think with this, I'm gonna put. I mean, who should. Who has a better face off? 
79, Donato has what? 77. So Donato, I'll actually put right. I'm just gonna look at what, what's his speed. I like quick guys on the left. I can't even find speed. 86. Because Bucinavich, I'm gonna stick on the right wing. And then we're gonna go Anderson, Heedle, Kraftsoff, then VZ. I think whoever has the better face-offs between these two, 74 and Howden has 75, so we'll keep Howden there. And that's our offense. We could probably, I don't know, Anderson, you know, we might, I don't know if we should send him down, just play him in the AHL or something, but I think we'll keep him there for now. But our first two lines are awesome. Our defense, we'll do Shea Petrangelo, Truba, Shattenkirk and then Clayson Piak. Mm. That's that's really good. And then of course Scratch. We got Keandre Miller who I'll probably just send down. Goalies, we have one quiz of two seven, so that's good. And Gorgiev. So captains. We got Zabinija and Nylander. And Petrangel's our captain, which uh I don't want to do that. I don't want to sign him a captain right away. So uh, let's go with Shattenkirk as captain. Newlanders and Benjamin, fine. And yeah, the rest is good. So obviously we made some big moves. I think the next episode I will, you know, of course maybe play the first, the first game of third period we sim through the preseason and then i'll sim through other games and hopefully we could actually make the playoffs and we really complete the rebuild with of course guys like miller and crash off coming up and then now we prayed in two big name free agents so hope you guys really enjoyed this i'll see you next time